Hello, this is Scott from Astro Northwest, and I just installed this Pegasus Astro um, Focus Cube 2 on my Feather Touch Focuser, which is attached to my William Optics FLT 132. And the reason I did it is because. I do most of my telescope work right here at this desk and my, you know, my yard is out there. So in order to focus this telescope, I end up walking back and forth quite a bit um, without this electric focuser, just adjusting, you know, the fine focus and going back and forth. Um, Opening the door, closing the door, walking out there, focusing in a little bit, coming back in, reshooting, checking. It just is too much. Um, it's not enjoyable. And uh, I don't have the greatest back in the world. And I notice it really starts to fatigue my back. So I got this. I actually ordered it day before yesterday from Cloudbreak Optics in Seattle. And they shipped it to me. And it's basically they shipped it yesterday and it's here today so just like a letter <laughs> um, so I put this on there I also got the the hand control so I can still focus it if I want to use the scope visually because this thing uh, you know it's kind of like a it's a stepper motor and so it, it will not let the the, uh, the whole thing move unless you um, have the power turned on to it and if it, if it doesn't have the power turned on you, there's no other way to move it other than this this control or your computer so i put it on um it's i'll give you try to give you a look inside here how it's hooked on it's got a little uh shaft in there that's got about a quarter of an inch hole on one end and two allen screws and at the other end, it fits on to the, um, the shaft of the focuser. And then it's got this L bracket right here, which comes up and, you know, this is attached to it. And then it comes out and it goes quite a ways across to this focus lock hole. And you can see I've got a stack up of washers on this side right here. I also have a stack up of washers here because what I don't want is for this to be, this is the focus lock and I don't want it to be locking on the, uh, the focus mechanism up inside, up inside here. I don't want it to be pushing on that. I want that to be somewhat free floating. So, but I do need this to be tight. Otherwise this thing will flop around back and forth and it's still a little floppy. Let me um, let me operate it for you, and I'll show you what I mean. So, I turn the f turn the focus knob. I get a little light down there that says it's moving, and sure enough, if I look down here, it's moving. It's real slow, and so it's very fine focusing me. I I'm turning this thing like crazy here, and it's really moving slow. So that's good. It'll focus very fine. But now if I change directions, let's see if I can do this without flipping my screen. If I change directions from one to the other. Okay, so I've changed directions and I'm gonna go back the other way. If I have that real nice and tight, that doesn't seem to move. I'm, I'm going back and forth here. I, I don't know for sure if it's not moving, but it, it is a little on the kind of the loose side. And I'm sure this is going to, you know, probably come out or come loose one of these days. I'm going to mess up my focus. But so what I thought I would do is make a little bracket that'll fit onto this bolt right here and then come down and screw into this. Um, what you know the top part of this plate and then that'll secure it right between here and here and I think maybe that will 
be uh, good enough to hold it nice and solid. I might even make it like a little triangular bracket where it comes up here and goes down here and comes across and then put a couple of holes in it because there, there's, you know, there's some little slots there. I can, I can use these outside slots to uh, screw into that and then have this be the kind of the third part that anchors it to the telescope and that should be nice and solid so yes it works it will be a little floppy but i think it will i think it'll work okay uh, even as it is i think it'll work okay but i just think stiffening up that whole this whole you know, this whole wobbly mess here well and that's just in the bracket really it, i mean it's it's going it's you can see it's it's tilting the whole bracket all the way from from inside here so it does need to be firmed up because i think that'll affect your focus if you're doing uh, auto auto focusing real time you know with a mono camera and filters and you're switching filters and it's changing temperature and the thing is moving back and forth i can see that both uh being problematic and also eventually working this bolt under here loose uh, after a while. So it'll be something I'll have to check every time I use the telescope to make sure that's tight. But so there it is. I mean, it's, it's on there. It'll save me a lot of walking, um, you know, with the color set up like I have now with this uh, color camera here, it's not going to be an issue because I'm just using it. I'm just going to be using it to focus the telescope, uh, Eric wants out. <laughs> uh, I just want it to focus the telescope and uh, be able to do that from my computer screen. Um, so I don't have to walk back and forth. And so I can just get a, oh, what's the matter, Eric? You want to go outside? Huh? All right. Let me let him out. <laughs> Come on. Go on out. Backyard's a mess. Gotta get that cleaned up. <laughs> it's been a long winter. All right, so that's uh, that's the video. I hope you liked it, and I hope this helps you if that's what you need uh, on your scope. Um, the reason. I got, like I said, I, the reason I got this was to, to be able to still focus it uh, while it's on here. And I have not yet loaded up the software for this and gotten it going on the computer yet. I just wanted to show you that it's uh, it does go on there and it seems to work okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like that uh, and it helps you out, give me a thumbs up and... Um, Subscribe if you feel like this is helpful. I'm going through all of this stuff, you know, as I as I learn because I uh, I'm new to this too. So it should be encouraging that that I can uh, I can do this um, myself without you know having the shop do it. Um, for all all you other guys out there wondering if you can do things, it's, this is not hard. Uh, it's a little fiddly, you know, trying to get these. Trying to get these things in here tight, but um, you can you can get it. It's just a little, you know, it's a little challenging. That's all. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.